This is a photo of the interior of the Horseshoe Bar in Warren. Can you tell when it was taken? If you look closely behind the bar, you'll find a map of the European Theater of War next to a picture of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. So the photo was taken sometime during World War II. That just captures a time in Warren in America where you know, the population was absolutely mobilized for that war and not even some, you know, at the time, a working class mill bar in Warren, Ohio uh, wasn't exempt from that. Telling the story of Warren through these types of photos is the goal of authors Josh Nativio and Megan Reed, whose book, Warren, will be published August 12th. Reed, who is also the director of the Trumbull County Historical Society, says there was a need for a modern history book of Warren. As it stands now, the canon for Warren history, it really comes from Harriet Taylor Upton, and her book was published in 1909. Um, it's much more comprehensive than the work that we've done now, um, but there was definitely a need for a more modern history of Warren to be published that spans um, longer and, and brings us more into the future. The book covers roughly 100 years of war in history starting in the 1850s. Many of the photos show a city trying to cope with the rapid growth it was experiencing. Between 1904 and 1924, Warren's population just absolutely boomed over 400 percent. To illustrate that, Reed included this photo of Market Street on the peninsula taken in 1925. This is a photo of the same street taken one year later. You go from areas that were once very walkable residential areas, um, shorter, very smaller roads, brick, brick roads there, to a, an, a version of what we have today with the roads widened to accommodate more traffic. Everything that was here, a lot of it's not here, and I'm just, I'm fascinated by it. Places like the Warren Opera House and the Packard Pool, which closed in 1989. We have some pictures of the Village Cafe, which is next to the Saratoga. And uh, it was a pretty hopping cafe, restaurant, bar up until the mid to late 80s. But one can also see how time has changed the businesses and places that are still here, like this exterior photo of the horseshoe. From this particular shot in 1956, there's a bridal shop above it a candy shop next to it, a, a uh, loan business, credit on your name, also above it, and a jewelry store next to it. While much of the book shows Warren during its booming industrial heyday, Nativio says it also shows something else. Warren represents what happens in America when capitalism is done with you. Uh -huh. They move on. Uh, it's just, it's that cautionary tale of what happens after the boom. Still, Reed says the city has a rich history to be proud of. Warren supported this industrial era at the turn of the 1900s um, that really focused and has now shaped our national identity. And she's hoping the book will inspire younger generations to rise up and write the next, more positive chapter in Warren's history. Advanced copies of Warren are available at TrumbullCountyHistory.org. All proceeds benefit the Historical Society. Hickey Metal Fabrication, family owned and proudly based in Salem for 75 years. We have state of the art equipment and are ready to handle your start to finish fabrication needs.